my name is Stephanie and welcome to my Valentine's Day box card tutorial. This gorgeous card features delicate roses, rosebuds, and foliage all created out of paper, which we customize to your liking. This will make a beautiful gift for that special someone. Included in the file is the pretty gift box with ample room for your card, chocolates, or anything else you think they'll fancy. Okay, so let's get your supplies and let's get to it. Here we have our Valentine's Day box card cut out. As you can see here, I've gone ahead and I've done the, um, I've folded the score lines here. So all valley fold and a valley fold here as well. And then I have my Valentine's hearts and these are quite delicate. So um, take your time with this. Uh, what I've done is I cut them out of 110 pound cardstock. So I think you need a, you need a good heavy cardstock for this. And I have it at a blade eight and a force of 33 and a speed of one. I didn't put an overcut on it. So that's how I cut those out. And take your time weeding with them. You might have to go in with um, your X-Acto blade uh, just to, you know, if you've got the fuzzies. Here I used a very, you know, a cheaper cardstock. You definitely need to use a higher quality cardstock for this particular project. Otherwise you're gonna get the fuzzies. Um, and also, you know, I just use a pin just to get these little bits out. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to, to, um, get all these little bits out, but you see, it turned out quite nicely. And this was done with Staples 110 pound cardstock. So there you go. So then what you're going to do is you're going to, um, glue these hearts down and you'll just be adding glue along here, along the outskirts. You don't need to, to glue the design. And then you'll just carefully place them, line them up right here. Okay. And then once you've done that, then you'll go ahead and you'll just add a bit of glue here and close up your box. Just making sure to line up the score line with the edge here. Now you're not gonna, do not fold this this area here, we want to keep this standing up, okay? Because we're going to be placing the uh, our flowers on there and everything else. Okay, here we have our hearts cut out, and we have the small heart and small pink heart and large pink heart, and a little white heart and little red heart, and we have our lacy topper. So what you're going to do is you're just going to do as before. We're just going to glue around here. You don't really necessarily have to glue down the design, just around the perimeter here, and just glue this down like so. Line it up. And then here you're going to just line these up nicely and like so. Okay. So you'll glue that down. Now what you're going to do is for the placement on the um, back of the card, for the placement of this heart, what you're going to do is you're just going to measure from the point here. It's about five eighths of an inch. So just make yourself a little mark. That's just a placement marker. So that once you've, once this is dried, then you'll just be lining this little mark up, centering it and placing it on, well, obviously on the other side, on the front side, but you're gonna be lining up that little line there. Okay, so that, so that you have it nice and centered and at the right height. Okay, and now also what you can do with these little hearts, these little decorative hearts, is that you can go ahead and customize your box however you, however you see that you like. Um, you can go ahead and you can put little hearts on the side here. Um, you could maybe rescale these hearts and sort of tuck them in with your flowers. Um, so you can customize this as you like. I mean, lots of ideas here. If you wanna, if you don't want the lacy hearts, you could maybe add these hearts instead. Um, you could do some stickers, um, you could add some glitter. So there's lots of options to customize this box. So it's a lot of fun. So we will go on to the next step, which will be the flowers and the leaves. Okay, so I've got my little box here and I have placed my heart here. You can see sort of the placement. I sort of lined up my little pencil mark and I centered it on the square here. And then I added my little decorative heart here. I mean, this is up to you. 
And again, you know, you can put them all over the box if you like. So this is going to hold our flowers. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of glue here and here on the tabs. You're going to fold them. First of all, you're going to score them like so, mount and fold. And you're, you've got three of these. And you're going to place this inside your box this way. Okay, and just flush right up against the against the back of the box, like so. Okay. And then you'll take another one and you will go and glue it with this this way and put it flush against the front of the box. Okay. Like so. And once you've done that and you have these two in place, then you're going to take the last one and you're going to center it between the two. So you're going to center it between the uh, the two other tabs. Okay, so you're sort of centering it in the middle, sort of somewhat in the middle of the box. Okay, so we'll just glue here and here and just put it in the middle like so. Okay. And these eventually what you're going to be doing is don't don't do a harsh fold on these, just do kind of like a bit of a, you could maybe take a little pencil or use your fingers just to shape them a little bit so they just come out like this. Okay. So, um, here I have the box, I added my little heart here. Um, now I've put my little inserts. You can see that, I just wanted to make sure that you line these up properly. So you see you have to be able to fold this, so just make sure that you know, you're lining up with the with the top of the box here. And make sure it's straight up and down and I'll, you've lined this edge up against the top of the box so that you're able to fold it nicely. What you could do is you could glue one side, fold it back and forth to see for the placement of the other side and then glue. So you wanna be able to just be able to go back and forth like so. So that's it. So we're going to go on to our, finally, to our flowers. Okay, so um, here we have all of our stems or leaves. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be gluing them down. Um, so you're gluing your, your dark green to the light green backing. Um, you'll notice that you know we have uh, half of them going one way, half of them going the other. So depending on how you cut them, um, you just want to flip some of them around. Um, it's just so that you have a variety when you're doing your uh, flower arrangement that you can see, you know, I've got some going this way, that way. So it, it just makes it a little bit more natural. Uh, so this is what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put, we're going to start with the leaves first. Just um, you know, dab a little bit of glue here. See, just a little bit. You don't need very much. Uh, I'm not doing the stems um, at the moment. Because uh, I just find it easier just to place the um, place the leaves, get them all aligned first. You see, and let's see, but it glue it glues down very very quickly, so you have to work very fast. Okay, now this one I, this one got a little bit ahead of me here, but okay, you can see how fast that glue um, dries. So work quickly, and as I say, do the stems last. So I'm just going to put a little, a little bit, a little dab, not too much. Again, the um, pointed nozzle on my glue uh, bottle comes in really handy um, for stuff like this. So you may want to get yourself a nozzle for your bottle. Okay, so here we go. So we have those. So you would go ahead and you'll do the same to the uh, larger leaves. Again, you know, half of them will go one way, half of them will go the other. And then we'll go on to the next phase. Okay, so now we're going to be adding um, a bit of color to the edges of our leaves. Just add a little bit of, a little bit of depth to them. So what we're gonna do is I've got this color box pigment ink. Um, it's a bit of a darker color than the, the dark green of the paper. And then I just take it like this, I'm sort of at a 45 degree angle, and I'm just kind of dabbing the sides here lightly, not too, 
not too hard. I'm just going around like so. Okay, see that? And just continuing along on all the edges of just of just the edges of the leaves. You're just doing kind of the edges. Uh, you may prefer to use a dauber, in which case you would just you would just put a little bit on your dabber and just go around like so. I'm not particularly fond of these cosmetic sponges, but um, you could use the professional daubers, uh, which I think do a better job, and that might be easier for you. Just add a bit of the color onto the edges of the leaves like so. Okay, so you go ahead and do that, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I have finished um, adding the ink to the edges of my leaves, and so now I'm just gonna add, give them a little bit of shape here. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking them and I'm just folding them, giving them a little crease here. You know, maybe a little bit to the tip of the leaf here. Stabilizing the stem, making sure you don't rip anything as I'm doing this and carefully kind of giving them a little shape with your fingers. Like so. So and you would just continue along doing the same thing to all of the leaves, being especially careful of these leaves here because they're quite delicate. So just kind of give them a little crease down the middle and just like so. Okay, just squeeze and give them a little shape. Okay, so you'll do that to um, all of your leaves. Okay, so here we have our little white flowers um, that we're getting ready to um, add some some shape to. So I've got one of these little round styluses here. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my smallest, my smallest flower petal, and I'm just going to around in the middle here if you can see that around in the middle here and get a little shape to it like that okay you can see like this and I will do the same to the next largest petal just kind of give it a a little bit of a turn here. I'm using the smallest bit here. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same. I might use the larger one, depending how that works out. Again, actually I might switch to the smaller head here, for this bit. Okay. And then for these ones, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to give them some shaping here on the petals. Okay, and just kind of, okay, but don't do the middle yet. Okay, and then the same to this one. I'm not doing the middle. I'm just doing the, um, just shaping the petal. Okay, just careful because you might rip the paper, you might rip the petals, and then just go in, turn it around, and then go in the middle, okay, like so, okay, and we'll flip this one around too, and just do the middle. So then what you'll do is you'll add a little dot of glue there. You can take your tweezers, okay, and just take these petals here, and you're just going to align them so that the petal are not lined up, so they're staggered, okay? You don't want them to be right on top of each other, because you you won't have the that nice, that natural effect. So then another little dot of here, and then we'll just take our tweezers and we'll line it up so that we're sort of going in between, you know, placing the, staggering them so that the petal ends up in between the two that are underneath. Okay, and just using this to pin it down a bit. You 
can sort of see. You see where we're at here? We sort of got them staggered. I'm just sort of staggering the petals. You don't want to put the petals right on top of each other. Just sort of shift them a bit and to stagger them. And then our second smallest. The first three are all the same. The big ones are all the same size. And then you've got kind of a medium size and then a small, one small for each flower. So again, I'm staggering it. A bit fickle. And then I'm pushing it down with my stylus. Okay. And then the same a little dot of glue. And again, you can use your handy, these rusty old tweezers. <laughs> it should have been pretty good for me so far. Okay. So then we're sort of these ones, be careful you don't get them, shift them completely off. Okay. And you can shape them some more, um, you know, with your fingers and whatever, just to, you know, once it's dry, just to shape, just to shape the little petals here. Okay. You can sort of shift them with your nail or you could use, um, you could use this to kind of curl the petals if you wish okay and then I'm using um, a yellow uh, this is sort of like a, it's a medium called a medium yellow by Dyla Romney uh, Dyla Romney um, acrylics and then once you're done and once it's dry and you're happy with it you can just use the small point I just sort of stick it in there um, just take a little a little glob. Be very careful here because we don't want too much. And then I'm just gonna see just a little dot. This this paint's a bit dried up, but just a little dot there. Okay, in the middle. Alright. And then once you've complete that, you can go ahead and you can uh, shape the stems to these um, to these flowers. So you'll use your stylus again. You know, wipe off the paint. <laughs> don't forget to wipe off the paint, and you'll just go around like so. And don't forget that some of them will be going this way. Some of them will be going that way. In which case, you'll shape them this. Shape them on that side. You'll shape half of them on that side, and the other half you'll be shaping them this way. So again, you want to have some going that way, some going this way in your flower arrangement. And you could also, if you wanted to, you can, like we did with the other leaves, you could add a bit of texture if you like, just a little bit of color, sorry, and just use your ink pad and just give your leaves just a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of color at the tips. Okay, so you can do that. Again, that's all optional. Uh, you can also go in, you could use um, this, I don't know what it would be called, but anyways, it's this little tool here. And you can just sort of, sort of turn the edges, or you could use a pin, um, the tip of a pencil maybe, or maybe not, or, or even these here. Okay, just to uh, give some shape to the leaves. Okay, so here we have our little flower and our flower stem. I've just gone ahead and I have glued my little flower to the back here. Just put a little dab of glue there on the back and adhered it there. And then I, what I did is I shaped the, I guess it's what's called the calyx. And I went in and I just shaped the little petals as before. And then I just went in the middle like so. Give it a little bit of shape there. And then what you'll do is you'll just add a little dab of glue here. A little dab. Of course, it helps if the 
That was a bit much, but anyways, just a little dab and then you'll just adhere it to the back here of your flower, like so. Okay. You may want to wait for everything to be dry before you start doing that step. So there we have uh, one of our white flowers. So then you'll go ahead and you'll proceed with the other ones. Again, you're going to have half going this way, half going the other way, um, just so that you have a variety in your arrangement. See, we've got some going that way, some going this way. Got them staggered throughout. You can put as many as you like. And then we're going to go on to the next flower. Okay, so uh, what we're going to be doing today is the uh, little rosebud. So we're going to start with these pieces here. We have two of them. Now I've gone ahead and I've added shape to this, this petal, um, this flower. Now I'm just going to show you. So I'm just going in with this um, stylus here with the larger head and I'm just kind of doing circular motion. Just going around like so. And you just continue on each petal. And this is, I'm using my uh, mouse pad here. It's a soft surface. And then I just kind of go in the middle a bit just to get it to start making its shape. And then what you will do is you will put if you can see here, I'm putting one petal over that one, one petal over the next. This is a little bit fiddly, you might find, so it comes, you'll get this with practice. And then tuck this one underneath that one. It's just like a little vortex, I suppose, you're creating. Okay, so you just kind of follow that pattern. You can see, okay, you can sort of tuck your nail in there to get, to get it to, to get it into the shape that you wish. And you basically want kind of this sort of curled, you want it kind of pinched at the, this area here, at the tip. Okay. These are very small, they're very fiddly. Sometimes it helps that you have nails. <laughs> but anyways, you can see I'm kind of tucking that in with my nail, like so. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue. Oops, it helps if it's undone, but and you're going to take your glue Make sure that you've kind of got it the way you want it. You want it kind of tightened up here. And then you just kind of put a little bit of glue in here. Oops, that was a bit too much. That's okay. Okay. Just, oh, I got way too much there. But anyways, and just hold it. Okay. Hold it. And then you'll, you may not have to do every petal, but you just kind of, you just kind of fold it a bit back like this, add a bit of glue into the crevice here, okay, and just kind of hold it in place and kind of wipe the glue as you're going. These are very fiddly, so don't worry, you don't get it right the first time. You may want to cut out a few more. See, I've got this one here, I'm just kind of folding it a little bit back and then adding a little bit of glue here. Okay. So there. I don't like a little place here. We could probably add a bit more glue. It's just, just to get to the point that it's sort of holding its shape. Okay. So we sort of have something like this, okay? 
I just want to hold it down until it's somewhat dry and then uh, we will start with the, the outer layer. We have our little rosebud here, the inner part, and now I'm going to do as we did before. If you can see, it's one petal over next, like so, as we were doing before. Okay, this is a, a little bit fiddly. This petal over that one, this petal over this one, and sort of start to see it kind of take shape. So we're just kind of we're just kind of shaping it at this point, just to kind of get it to make sure that it's in shape. And then we'll open it back up like so. And we'll add a bit of glue to the middle. Okay. You might be a little bit more generous with the glue there. And you'll take your rosebud and you'll put it right in the center there. Just place it in the center. You could uh, make it so that the fold is kind of, the fold is sort of in the middle of one of the petals there. Okay. So you see the fold there, and I kind of aimed it so it's kind of staggered, like we were doing before with the other, the other flowers. So it's all sort of staggered, and then we can sort of start to bring it together because we've already pre-shaped it. It might make it a little bit easier, you see, because I've already shaped it prior. It's making it a little bit easier. Okay, so you kind of push it in like so. Just kind of push it in and then as before we're going to go in and we're going to secure these petals. Put in a little bit of glue down. Okay and again a little bit of glue here you don't need too much. Just hold it as you go and wipe as you go. Okay. And just continue until you find that it's secure enough. Okay. Like that. Okay. So once you've got it to that state, you may want to let it dry um, for a little bit and then while that's drying you can go ahead and you can again take your stylus and shape the uh, I guess it's a calyx I keep on saying that may not be the right term but anyways um, and you just continue like as we were doing before you're just shaping this shaping this these little leaves you can go on with a smaller one maybe Okay, there, okay, and then you can, if you want, you could go in and you can just take your little tool here and these are round nose, very tiny little round nose pliers um, that I purchased, I believe, at Michael's. This is just to get a little shape. Okay. Now, what you could do is you could, again, as we were doing before, you could go in with the um, the ink and do a little bit of a little bit of uh, coloring of the tips, if you like. You can do that. You could do that beforehand as well. And then what you will do is you'll apply some bit of glue here. You might kind of want to go a bit up the the leaves here, okay, and just sort of you know make it so the the line is kind of set up so it's against one of the leaves a bit. But you'll see how you you know how you feel about it, which way you want to how you want to do it. 
and then you can just close it up like so. Okay. So like that. You may have to put um, a bit more glue in here. So inside these inside these leaves here, you may want to put a little bit more glue to secure it and hold it down. And so then you've got your rosebud. And then what you'll do is you'll once your rosebud is dry, you can, if you like, again you could add a bit of a bit of color to the tips. Again at a 45 degree angle, you could this is a bit of a darker darker red than the red of my paper. And you can just add a little bit of color at the tips of the petals. And once that's done, then what you'll do is you'll basically just adhere it however which way you want to the back of your flower like so. If you're very picky, you could go in with a green marker or a green pencil and maybe you could color that in if you like. I don't know, but um, no one's going to see the back of that really. Okay, so then you'll just glue that down like so. And you'll again, you'll have flowers going this way and that way. Okay, so then I'll show you how to do the larger flower next. Okay, so in the last segment, we created the rosebud. So this will be the inner part of your rose. So you will have used, uh, you'll be using three of these shapes um, to create your, your rose. So you're using two for your rosebud and three more for your rose. So then what you will do is you'll take your glue and you'll put a little bit here. You might want to go a bit up the, maybe not too far up the petals yet. And then you'll sort of line it up. That was a bit too much glue actually, but anyways. And you'll line it up right about where the line is sort of meeting halfway. You see one of the folds is meeting halfway on one of the petals just to sort of stagger it a bit. And then you'll sort of one petal over the other as we were doing before, sort of similar, similar motion here. Right, sort of tucking it in and pushing down as we did before and sort of wiping away the glue as you go. Okay. You want to keep it a bit more open, a little bit more open than you did on the other, on the rosebud. So we don't want to glue this down. See, I had a bit too much glue, so I'm just kind of unraveling it a little bit. Okay. Okay, so then, I mean, I had shaped these before, so this one's shaped, and we're going to go, and we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to go in, and we're going to line up, again, lining up one of the kind of folds with the middle of one of the bottom petals and again same thing we are putting one petal over the other like so tuck that one under okay see so we're creating that little vortex shape again there and here Again, I'm sort of squeezing. <clears throat> okay. And we want to kind of, what we want to do is we kind of want to go in and sort of start to, with our fingernails, start to unravel it a bit. You can take your round nose pliers and sort of start to turn these edges here. Excuse my fingernails, I might be a bit green from inking. But sort of, you see how I'm turning 
So we're trimming the edges here. See how that glue came right up? We didn't, I put a bit too much glue there, but you see? Sort of going around and we're sort of giving it a bit of a, so opening it up a bit. And you can kind of go around and sort of do the same to the other ones, the inner petals. We're sort of opening it up a bit, you see? There. Oop. You might find it's getting a bit too open, so you can always add a bit of glue. A bit more glue, let's see, on this petal here. And, okay, of course you don't want to glue all the way up. You just want to kind of glue around the bottom area so you're able to kind of fold these back, you see, to kind of give it some, some shape. It's also a good idea, too, to look online at a picture of a rose just to give you a sense of, you know, what it should look like and how the petals fall and, and fold over or roll over. So then with this one, this last one, so of course we texture them all this way, um, and I'm just going to turn it over and just go on the middle here. I think this is going to be more open, this bottom layer. And then again, we'll add our glue, like so. And we try to kind of again, whoops, again sort of stagger it, see, like so. And again, we're kind of doing the same sort of thing. It gets a little bit, we get it, we're kind of doing the same sort of thing. It gets a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit trickier. I'm not closing it as much, obviously, because we can't. Just kind of, and again, I'm kind of slightly doing that same thing that I was doing before, kind of the one petal over the other sort of thing. And then kind of get your nails in there. Okay, and kind of pushing it in like so. And at the same time, I'm turning it. See? Okay. I'm getting my nails in there. And then you can take your pliers. Right and continue sort of shaping it, going around, maybe taking a side, the side of a petal here and turning, see? And opening this right up, All right? Take your nails and try to open it a bit. Okay, so we're sort of getting our shape of our rose. And then what you'll do is you'll take one of your, your larger leaves, add a bit of glue here, and just glue it to the back of your rose, like so. Okay. This one you might have to adjust, but so we're getting there. Okay. And then once that's done, then you will turn it over. I've got way too much glue here. You will turn it over. You want know a bit of glue. We'll get your calyx. Not too much. Again, that was a bit too much, but anyways. And just Put your calyx on, like so, on the back. Okay. See that? And then you'll just let it dry. See how cute, how cute that is? So, yes, I forgot to add that we could, again, you can add some ink, like we did before on the rosebud, to our rose. And we're just going along. You could have done this before. I'll put a little indication in the previous segment that you could do this beforehand. Okay, just add a bit, a little bit of darkness at the tip there. Oh, my nose coming off, but anyways, a little bit of, little bit of color there. Not too much. 
And for the pink rose, you could add this uh, sort of uh, darker pink to the edges of your rose as well. So this is sort of a, maybe a sort of a darker, sort of darker old pink color that you could use. Again, that's up to you. So we have this foliage for your Valentine's Day box. And I've, uh, I have gone ahead and I've used my, my ink and I've just sort of gone over like so again, like we were doing before, you might find it easier just to kind of hold on to the stem and do the leaves. Or again, you could do it uh, with a sponge if you like. Um, and I also, with these ones, I use this sort of mossy green color and from color, from color box, pigment ink. And I did the same thing going over and adding color to the tips of the leaves. And I sort of left two, I, I left one green and one light green. I, I haven't yet uh, inked them. Uh, we're gonna see as I'm going along which way I want to uh, place them. So you may wanna leave one or two, the same with the flowers, you may wanna leave one, uh, one or two flowers. Uh, you may not wanna glue them down to the stem as yet, just to see how you want to arrange the, uh, which way you want to arrange the flowers. So you may want to hold off on uh, placing the, you know, the flower on the stems, but that's up to you. Um, anyways, so then you'll, once you've inked these leaves, you can go in and you can just give them some shape, like so. See, I'm just going in. You may want to make them curly here a bit. You might want to curl them over like so, depending. Again, this is all up to you how you want to um, shape it. You may do, you know, maybe a little bit as you're going along with your fingers, as you're placing your foliage in your Valentine's Day box. So I did the same to um, all of them, uh, just to give them that, give them that shape. Okay, so here I've started to put the uh, flowers on the Valentine's box and I've just sort of started here. I'm just leaving clearance for the heart, as you can see. It's putting a little bit of glue. I might have put a little bit too much in some places. And it's supposed to kind of start from the back to the front um, and just sort of slowly build it up. And here I'm just going to put, I'm just adding a bit of glue to the back of this rose here. Just a little bit. I might have put too much there. But the key is to sort of find your placement where you think it looks all right. There. Okay. And then we just sort of continue on. I might take uh, this red one here and place it on the other side. This is, this is this one here that's sort of placing it, placing this right about here. And you sort of just continue, just holding it down like so. And you just sometimes have to hold it down a bit. Okay. And keep checking to see how you like the placement. Just keep on checking. And then I'll take one of my little white flowers. I might put it in between here. Some more of them. I might put it down about down about here. So I'm continuing on adding my flowers to the box and my foliage. And here I've put in the uh, the rose. I've glued in the rose. I just uh, added a bit of glue behind the stem, and then I used my tweezers, and I got inside the box here, and I just kind of just get in there with the tweezers, just to because it's a little bit more difficult to get your fingers in there, and just hold it down. I put a little bit too much glue there, but that's okay. And then what you'll do is you're just going to continue to build it from you know front from back to front, um, layer by layer, um, adding in your 
foliage here and there, varying the different branches. So I might glue this in here, maybe put another one over here. Again, using, using my tweezers to get up inside the box to adhere it down. And then you can start to use your, your rosebuds and varying the different flowers and the different colors. And you're going, again, you're, the height of the flowers will become lower and lower as you come closer to the front because we don't want to hide the flowers behind. So it's sort of going from tall to small. And you just continue along, building it up. And you start adding flowers to each layer. And then you'll be done. So I've continued along placing my roses and my rosebuds and my little white flowers, staggering them throughout the box. I've gone and placed uh, the ones in the back obviously higher than the ones to the front. I've sort of pushed them down further into the box. And I've sort of, with the branches, I've put in you know the dark green, a light green, again, trying to stagger those throughout. You may find that you have to glue some of the branches or, or roses or whatever to the back of another leaf as opposed to gluing them onto the green spacer of your box and also I found that um, you know I've had I have about three about three branches three branches left here um, you know I felt like this was full enough I was happy with the way this looked at the moment again this is up to you depending on how full you want to have your box so that would be, we're almost complete. So that we're gonna be putting in our uh, Valentine's Day banner next. Okay, so here I've gone ahead and used the print and cut feature of my Cameo. I did make three copies just in case I had some issues with it. Um, and of course my machine started to cut out the Valentine's Day lettering. So of course, make sure that you choose the cut edge uh, feature on your machine. Um, so that, you know, it will only cut out around as opposed to cutting out the Valentine's Day writing. And once you do that, just pop this out and then glue it to your pink banner. And just sort of center it like so. And then I used, I used this tool here and just used my stylus and sort of did a little bit of an angle here. If you, as you can see. And then I just of a zigzag, kind of curved it around here. And then I just sort of curve these edges. Okay. And then once you're done that, then you can basically place it onto your Valentine's Day heart. Now you could go straight across or maybe you could go diagonally, whichever way you think looks great. So they Okay, so here's the bottom of the Valentine's Day gift box. And here I've already assembled them together. Uh, these are the pieces marked with a one and a two. So here, I don't know if you can see, but I have them alternating between piece one, piece two, piece one, piece two. And then what you'll do is you'll just make sure that you line them up on the corners here. Make sure they're completely flush and just glue that down. And then once you're completed that, you're going to take the smaller of your squares that you've cut out, take the smallest one and you'll just place it, you'll drop it down here, you'll run some glue around those edges there, those, those seam allowances I suppose you could call them, and you'll just drop it in like so. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do that and we'll go off to the next step. So I've gone ahead and I've glued in the bottom of my uh, lower box. And that is, don't forget, that is the smaller square. So then I'm going to take another smaller square. So you should have two of those. And then I'll just place it, I'll glue it down around the edges here. Okay, so then once you've done that, then you're going to take, for your lid, you're going to take these pieces here, again alternating between um, the pieces marked with sort of a square and the pieces marked with three slashes, and you'll just line them up like so. 
and then you'll glue them down here. Okay, and then you'll take your larger piece, your larger square, and you'll place that in just like you did with the bottom of the box. You'll do the same thing with the lid. And then you'll take your red square and you'll place it on top of here. Okay. Once you've glued in the top of your lid. Okay, so here I've completed the box. As you can see here, I've got ample space for your card. And also if you want to put in some chocolates in there, some tissue paper, whatever else you may want to give this person. Um, and of course you can just decorate this box however you please. So many different ideas here. Now if you're having trouble, as you can see, you know this is lifting up a little bit. So if you have that issue, and of course it can be difficult to get in there to glue it down. So what you can do is you can just take a little piece of scrap paper Put a bit of glue on here, okay, and then just just tuck it in there. Get a little bit of glue on there, and then just glue it down, okay. So that's just a little a little tip. So here we've completed our Valentine's Day project. I think this turned out really really nicely, and I think anybody who gets this is just going to love it. So yeah, so if you enjoyed this project and you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to visit me at www.decouvert.com. I do have more projects in the works. I have Easter coming up. I've got Mother's Day. I have more Christmas projects. I have wedding projects as well. So don't forget to go and visit me there as well. Don't forget to subscribe to, here, uh, to me at YouTube. Um, again, I will be posting those tutorials here as well. So yeah, so uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this and happy crafting. Thank you.